Hello, it's Divine Honesty and I'm back with another reading. Today I'll be reading for Capricorn's Love Life for March of 2019. The first three cards are going to represent your current energy for this month. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Okay. So right now what I'm seeing is money is the root of the issue or the focus of the relationship for this month okay also since i have two pinnacles back to back you could be dealing with the earth sign such as virgo capricorn or taurus which if you are great or one of your most compatible signs now with the ace of pinnacles what this represents it represents a beginning of a, a new job or a beginning of some influence when it comes to money okay this also can represent documents such as um, a divorce papers or a lease or a will something in that nature is going to be present for this month as well okay then you have the Queen of Pentacles now the Queen of Pentacles she's the one who is very independent they have their own, but they're not really a show-off. You can just see it. You can see that they're well off. I'm seeing that energy is also present. So with both of these cards, having both pentacles, what I'm seeing, so you see right now the, the pentacle is right here in the, in the air, okay? And then you see the pentacle is in her hand, okay? So basically the idea of that influence of money is going to be presented to you you're going to have that you're going to keep that energy okay so that's basically what the queen of pentacles is saying is that is something that you can achieve if you put your focus on it okay and it might also have to do with some type of documents now for the king of cups what this is okay you could be dealing with a very an emotional partner this month okay very emotional now, this partner also lacks ambition, okay? That's with the King of Cups. They lack ambition. They lack drive. Sometimes certain things have to be their motivator. Now, money could be your motivator, okay, for that or their motivator. But I'm seeing right now the lack of ambition um, from your partner or from yourself will be present this month, okay? Now, now, now look at your partner's energy, okay? You have the Emperor, you have the Eight of Swords, and you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, Cups, Cups, okay. Now, for the Emperor, you could be dealing with the Aries, okay. Now, this person is sometimes older than you, most likely an older uh, influence. An Emperor is really an older man who have great influence when it's come to getting your shit together and when it comes to um, owning some shit or managing some shit, okay? They're entrepreneurs. They're usually the CEOs or owners of businesses. You need to speak to somebody um, like that, okay? Your partner needs that type of energy, okay? So your partner might be older than you, wiser, okay? But they're also needing that energy as well this month. Now, for your Eight of Swords for your partner, your partner right now is um, restricted, okay? So, your partner feels as if they're not able to do what they want to do, okay? So, you might not be with this partner or they could be in a relationship to where they feel like they want to leave, but they cannot because of other circumstances. It could be because of this lease, okay? And they feeling stuck because of that. Okay, but they are wanting guidance to how to get out of that situation. I'm seeing that could be a scenario as well. Also, what I'm seeing with this Eight of Swords, it, it could mean that they're, they're, it's, they're in fear of the relationship ending. Okay, and they want to be perceived as someone who has it all together. And they want people to view them as everything is fine and dandy when it's really not and they're scared of that okay and then you have the knight of cups your partner wants to bring you love now you like i said you could also be dealing with a water sign okay so you could be dealing with a pisces a scorpio or a cancer 
Now, water doesn't really flow. Um, actually, I take that back. Water does flow with earth, okay? So if you are dealing with a water sign, there are one of your most compatible signs. But I'm seeing your partner wants to bring you love and wants to bring you offer um, of enjoyment, okay? They want to bring you satisfaction, and they're going to. If you look at the horse, he's he's on his motherfucking way, okay? Cup in the air. Love is in the air. They're on their way, okay? Now, for the overall outcome, we have the six of, six of wands. So, what I'm seeing here is a celebration. People are looking at you. People are inspired by you. If you look at the horse and you see the different flags and the trophies and the people, people see that you are or you have came a long way, okay? Keep going in the direction that you're going because it's going to pay off, okay? You are moving, okay? You do have that ace of pinnacles energy with you a new beginning a new start okay even if this relationship has to be a new relationship that's a great start whatever position you are in now keep moving because you're going to end up with the outcome of the six of wands okay you're going to feel good about yourself everyone else is going to see it as well okay now for the overall message we have the page of cups and this is the offer of love okay the page of cup is someone who offers love it's just the same as the knight of cups but it's not um as actionable if that's even a word it's more of the idea okay what's going to come okay so i'm seeing that that is the outcome so what that means is you're going to give that love okay now if someone new or it could be with the same person but sometime during this month of March you're going to want to give the offer of love okay of understanding of commitment just keep that six of wands energy keep that moving mentality okay be smart when it comes with your money and stay focused this kings of cups came from your energy so it could also mean that you need to have more ambition for yourself okay uh, the king of cups also don't like to confront their issues now however capricorns do confront their issues okay so something you need to explore more about in order to confront that and to move on in order to get this six of wands energy this celebratory energy this um, I know I'm doing good everybody see it I see it type of energy okay now if this resonates please click like share and subscribe and this has been another reading from divine honesty